Hey everybody, Tom Wolf here. I had somebody ask me about belly fat, so I thought I'd make a video about it. Now this is what I know about belly fat and transformations. First of all, uh, we all store our fat in different places. Typically men store fat in their belly or abdomen and women more store fat in their hips or in their rear or in their legs. Um, but as people become obese, fat storage goes throughout their entire body. And you can see that people, even their faces get really big. And so when somebody goes through a transformation, what you'll notice is that they start to lose weight from their face first, all the way down into their belly. And that's ultimately the last place where people will lose weight. So you'll put it on there first and you'll lose it there last, right? So when somebody asks me about belly fat, typically what I think you're talking about is what's, how do you get the finished product? Well, here's what I know about transformations. The hardest part about transformation is the beginning and the end. The beginning, it's hard because, well, for one, an exercise program with variety and intensity makes your body scream and the first couple of weeks are tough and you want to quit. After that, you kind of hit your stride. When you pair it with nutrition, a lot of great things happen. You feel really good, you start losing weight and the journey continues. And the more you lose, the more you want to do new things because you're getting results. Now, towards the end of your transformation, it gets hard again to lose that last little bit. And so I think that's what we're talking about here today is losing that last little bit. And the truth is there isn't necessarily an exercise program that focuses on belly fat, right? You can do abs all day long, but if you eat garbage, you're not going to lose the belly fat. You can gain some muscle in your stomach and in your abdomen region, but you're still going to have the belly fat there. So um, abs are made in the kitchen. We've all heard that, right? Nutrition. You have to intensify your nutrition program. And here's a few things I know about intensifying a nutrition program that really work. First of all, eat nutrient-dense foods. Eat whole foods. Eat foods that are a little bit higher in protein. Um, eat high-fiber foods. And then your meals. Rather than two or three big meals a day, Use a lot of small meals, maybe six or eight small meals a day. Never overeat and never get hungry. And that said, that means no snacks, no garbage, right? In addition to that. And then another thing that you can do to really burn that last little bit of fat is make sure it's three to four hours from your last meal before you do some kind of cardio workout. And that way you're burning your fat stores as opposed to to the food source that's in your stomach. That's the source of energy. Now, here's what you need to understand about getting those six pack abs. Think about it like this, it's a, it's a phase. All athletes spend at least part of the year eating pretty much all they want within reason. Perhaps even more they need to to ensure that they ha have enough reserves to give an intense workout. Fighting weight, race weight, competition shape is a phase. Bodybuilders and fitness trainers don't walk around in contest shape all the time. It's not because they're lazy. Now, in a recent online survey, Sean T talked about that he doesn't like the feeling of being in asylum shape all the time. It's too draining. Six pack abs look awesome in photos and impress your friends at family reunions. But your body really functions better with a little bit more reserve. That's it. This is Tom Wolf helping you live the good life through health and fitness.